everybody, this is Frilliath and welcome back to another Minecraft tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to build this really simple apiary in Minecraft 1.15. So as you can see this thing is tiny, it's 5 across by 4 deep, uh, a little bit of overhang for the roof and you're going to have to dig down one block in the centre to stick your hoppers in there and your uh, barrel at the front but it is really tiny for what it does and it produces Produces honeycomb. Is that fantastic or what? So to build this thing, you're going to need a stack or so of blocks, solid blocks. I'm using spruce logs, but you can use any solid block you want. Concrete, cobble, terracotta, anything you like. Doesn't matter. Um, you're going to need some stairs or some slabs for the roof. Again, it can be any block you like, any roof you want. You're going to need three pieces of glowstone or sea lanterns or jack-o'-lanterns or something for a bit of lighting inside because you want to make it mob spawnable proof. You're going to need six pieces of glass. Any kind of glass will do. You're going to need three pieces of grass block or something to plant your flowers on. It can be dirt if you want it to be dirt. You're going to need three dandelions. I found dandelions seem to work the best. I tried it with tulips. Tulips didn't do so good for me. Uh, so I went back to dandelions. They seem to work fine. The redstone, you're going to need two observer blocks. You're going to need six hoppers. You're going to need three dispensers. Make sure these are dispensers. You're going to need three bits of redstone dust. You're going to need three beehives. If you don't know how to make a beehive, to make a beehive, you need six planks and you need three honeycomb. You need three planks and then three honeycomb, then three planks in a crafting table. That's how you make a beehive. You're going to need three of those. You're going to need a barrel for the front. You're going to need three hopper minecarts and you're going to need some temporary rails to put the hopper minecarts on. Now, these have got to be hopper minecarts. You can't just use hoppers underneath a beehive. It won't work. OK, you'll just have to trust me on this. I've done the testing. It won't work. Make sure you use hopper minecarts. And you're also going to need a silk touch pick in order to get some bees for the first time to fill your apiary up uh, in the first instance. Unless you're bang next door to a, a flower forest or somewhere where there are loads of bees spawning naturally. So now we need to find somewhere to build this bad boy. I'm going to build it here for, for want of a better place. But if you uh, as long as you build it near a flower forest, you've got a good chance of attracting bees normally, uh, naturally over to your hives. If you don't and you can't see any bees, you're going to have to go looking for them with a silk touch pick. And we'll, uh, we'll touch on that in a second. But uh, find an area to build it and you want to dig a hole in the ground and put your uh, barrel in there. OK, then you want to dig out three blocks behind it and you want to put three hoppers leading into each other. Make sure the nozzles, there you go, those nozzles need to be pointing into each other and into the barrel. And then you want to dig out two holes there and there. And you want to put a hopper there and a hopper there like that. Then you want to take out your rails and you want to crouch and put your rails like that. Now in 115 rails will actually point the way that you put them down. In 1.14 they would always snap east to west, but they don't do that now in 115, which is fantastic. It's going to make building so much easier. But anyway, um, digress slightly. That's not really relevant for this tutorial, but I just thought I'd share that with you. So you've got your, your rails down there like that. On the ends of these rails, you need to put down a block of wood there and there. And then on the rails, you need to put down your three hopper mine carts like that. Now you need to break the rails underneath. So... Be very careful and break the rails underneath the minecarts. Like that. Okay. Now what you want to do is take out your grass blocks or your dirt blocks. Don't have to be grass. Uh, I just think grass is going to look nicer when you've got flowers on it. So take out your, dirt, uh, your grass or your dirt blocks. Put them there, there and there. And a couple of wooden blocks on the end of it. And then you want to run down the front with wooden blocks like that okay now behind your minecarts you want to stick down another five wooden blocks like that these don't have to be wooden blocks i don't know whether i mentioned that at the beginning these can be any blocks you like uh, they can be clay concrete stone uh, wood planks terracotta whatever you like it makes no difference at all to the for the, to the for the farm uh, but you, you just need solid blocks on there just to make it look a little bit pretty 
Now you want to grab yourself your observer blocks. You need to put one observer block there with the redstone part at the back and the detection part, the little face at the front. And then you want to jump up on top of it, looking down at that observer, and you want to put another one like that. So this one will detect when the, uh, the, uh, the beehive in the middle uh, changes state. So whenever the bees deposit some honey or some honeycomb in the, the center beehive, that observer will detect it. This observer will detect that de observer detecting that. So it will put out a redstone pulse at the top. And on top of there, you want to put yourself down a solid block like that. Now we've done that, you want to stick in your beehive. So you want to put a beehive there and then you want to put a beehive just there and a beehive just there directly above your hop and mine cots. Now, uh, lots of you are going to be saying you don't need hopper minecarts fields. You can do that with a hopper. I tell you what, do it with a hopper and see how much honeycomb you waste all over the floor. Use hopper minecarts, okay? Now, above it, you want to put a couple of blocks like that. And we're going to have to put the dispensers in here that are going to harvest the, the honeycombs out of your beehives. So grab your dispensers. These have to be dispensers. Don't go using droppers, otherwise you'd just be wasting your time. Okay, so crouch and look up at that block there and put down three dispensers. Just double check around the sides to make sure that your dispenser is pointing straight down. It has to be pointing straight down at your, your beehives or this won't work. And remember, dispensers. And you can get rid of those blocks at the top like that. Now you can fill around the sides with a little bit more wood for solid blocks, whatever you want to be using. Like that. And like that. And now on top of these dispensers, you need to put yourself down a line of redstone dust. So in these dispensers now, you want to put two shears. If you can, if you can afford it, completely fill it with, uh, with shears. Um, and if you can't, just put the just put one in there. It, it uses durability on your shears, so eventually these will break. Okay, so you are going to have to be able to come back and put some more shears in there eventually, uh, which is why if you can afford to do it, and it's only two bits of iron, stick yourself in uh, as many shears as you can. Okay, so now you've got something that looks a little bit like that. Now whiz around the back again and just fill this in with solid blocks all the way up. Like this. Now whip out your glowstone and put three bits of glowstone along the top like that. It's not necessary. The bees are still going to go to sleep at night, but these are spawnable. So if you're in the middle of nowhere and it's dark at night, you are going to get mobs in there and you really don't want that. So stick yourself down. A couple of bits of glowstone, sea lanterns, uh, jack-o'-lanterns would even do up there. Just anything to give yourself a bit of light underneath to stop mobs from spawning down the bottom. Now you want to whip out your dandelions. I have tried this with tulips and for some reason, and I don't know whether it was just tulips or whether it was just, a, I'm not quite sure why, but they, the bees would come out and they wouldn't take the nectar from the tulips. They would just sit on the floor. So I seem to find that dandelions work the best. So just stick your dandelions in like that. Now what we need to do is find ourselves some bees. Uh, and the easiest way to do that is to find ourselves a beehive. Okay, now I know where there is a beehive. It's over there. So if we whiz over here, you're going to need a silk touch pick to get it. So when you've found your beehive, you want to make sure that you've got three bees inside it. Now, a beehive and uh, a bee nest will only support three bees at a time. Uh, so you need to wait for these three bees to get pollen on them and to go inside the nest. Hopefully, they'll all go inside together. Come on, mate. Come on. Do it quicker. So get yourself out your silk touch pick. And when you've got your three bees in there, break your beehive. So now you've got a beehive that's got three bees in it. So then if we whip over here, back to our apiary. Are you using that fella? Unbelievable. If we stick our bee nest there, in a second, these bees are going to come out. Hello mate, what? You ain't going to be able to use that for much longer. 
So unless you know where there are three beehives, uh, bee nests, in order for you to get uh, nine bees, what we're going to have to do is breed these up. So we'll have to wait for another one to come out. Okay, so now we've got a couple. Grab yourself your dandelions and start breeding these up. And we'll have a little baby bee. With a baby bee, there's a with a baby bee. Oh, it's so cute. Uh, um, so we're just going to have to keep doing that now until we've got nine bees. So now we've got nine bees, we need to wait for it to get dark and all of these little bees will go into the bee nests. Okay, so all of those, all nine of those now have got... Oh, nearly all of them. Come on, fella. Get around the corner. Get you in. Come on. No? No room in there? No room in the inn? There you go, that's better. So now they're all in there, you need to stick the uh, the glass on the front of this farm. So whip out your six pieces of glass. Put them on the front, like that. And that's it. Now we just need to wait for it to become daylight again. So it's daylight again, these bad boys are back out, they're going to start feasting on those three dandelions and that's all you need, you only need the three dandelions in there uh, and they'll, they'll come out, they'll get pollen and they'll go back in their nests again and eventually, as I say, the, uh, the nests will start to fill up with honeycomb and when that one fills up with honeycomb, it's going to fire those dispensers which is going to harvest all of the nests. When there are three pieces of honeycomb in a nest, and the dispenser fires out the shears, it'll harvest the three honeycomb, and the three honeycomb will come down here and go into the into your barrel. Every time a bee comes out, it clicks, but it won't harvest the, the nectar, uh, the honeycomb, until there are three pieces of honeycomb in the uh, uh, in the, the nest. So if you've heard it clicking, don't panic and start looking and think it's broken. Now, I think I mentioned the bees will harvest all day. Uh, so between zero ticks and 12,000 ticks, they'll come out, uh, they'll uh, they'll gather pollen, they'll go back in again. At night, doesn't matter how bright you make it, at night between 12,000 ticks and 24,000 ticks or zero ticks, uh, these guys are going to be asleep. Okay, so don't expect this to work overnight. So hopefully now, in a couple of seconds, they'll have deposited enough nectar inside the the nest to make some honeycomb and uh, and we should start farming it there you go did you hear that there was a squelchy noise that should be some honeycomb and there it is now if you didn't have hopper mycots underneath the hoppers in 1.14 and 1.15 don't suck items through quick enough and the honeycomb will just fall out and go all over the floor okay so as I mentioned you do need you see that as well that's now full Okay, so hopefully when the the, the bees come out of the centre uh, nest now, it will activate all of them and that will get harvested. So there you go, the one in the centre activated the observer, which fired all of the dispensers, which harvested all of them. And we've now got nine pieces of honeycomb in there. So this is working like a charm. We've even got a farmer. Well, I'm a beekeeper. We haven't got a beekeeper. Mo Yang, why don't we have beekeepers? That'd be brilliant, wouldn't it? Have beekeepers that come around and harvest all the honey. There you go. Fabulous idea. I'm just going to finish off by sticking some slabs on the top to make this spawn proof, although there is some light up there, so it shouldn't. So nothing should spawn up there anyway. But I'm just going to make it a little bit more tidy. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, a really easy to build apiary that's uh, very low on resources. And as long as you build it near your base uh, and the chunks are continually loaded and you're close enough, this is just going to produce you quite a bit of honeycomb without you having to do any work at all. Just remember to keep filling it up with shears as and when necessary and you'll have more honeycomb than you know what to do with. So I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial, everybody. If you have, please don't forget to leave it a like. And if you've really loved it, don't forget to subscribe for future videos. This is Frilly Off, and I'm out of here.